We're here, Benjamin. We've got the two Benjamins today at Lowe's. Gonna pick up some concrete. And what else are we getting? We're getting sand later on. Right. What else we got? We're getting all the materials for doing the fire pit. So we're putting in the, uh, the wall of the fire pit today. First of all, let's go ahead and get some concrete and head that way. I'm using my phone right now, actually, because the, um, the camera, first of all, I left it in Josh's car, and then we had to get the, uh, basically, long story short, we don't have a camera. So we can use the phone first, and then we'll get the uh, actual, actual uh, camera later. Got it, got it. Boom. All the concrete mix we need. Type S for structural support. And then we got a little trowel there. Find the sand. Right there. Boom. Alright man, I'll go ahead and pay for it. If you want to go ahead and get these tools, make sure they're up here. And the wheelbarrow needs to be up here as well. So that they can dump the sand right there. Ready to go? Yeah, it smells good. It smells good? Yeah. You said it smells good. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's not. Kinda smells good. That's what he smells right there. Check what? I don't have the little card that I needed. Now we can get some filming. Alright, here we are. This is about to look a little different. So the goal for today is to build or at least do the foundation of this whole area going around the fire pit. This is the future area of this fire pit. Originally it was just a bunch of ragtag stuff. We took out the material we didn't want, put it down there. But then we realized, wait a minute, we have some good material here. And we don't want that down there. We do want these uh, field stone pieces. There's a lot of potential of building a beautiful fire pit. We just need to assemble the materials that are already here in a beautiful way. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna clean out a base first and then come in with the base materials of the, of the stone, mix our mortar together and start laying the, the layers. I've built several of these, lots of these uh, field stone fire pits. It's gonna look beautiful. Benjamin's gonna get to see how it goes. Yeah. He'll be my mason solver. While I'm doing the mason stuff, if he gets a second, clean that out, we're gonna get these pieces of of a border that doesn't look so good. We'll take those back to the back. Then we're going to redo this border, just kind of freshen it up, restack it. Some of the plants underneath there, the weeds, we'll get those out. Same thing over here, take those away. Putting pine straw around the bases of these, clean up that. Sand's coming off, mortar's coming off. I love this wheelbarrow. His name is Pumpkin. I like pumpkin, but I need First step is going to be to clear the base. It needs to be about two feet wide, coming all the way through, coming around, through here, and right up, and then about right here. We need to clear it to the soil down below, and then we're going to put some gravel down, and then the mortar will be put down, and then the first layer of field stone. As I'm cutting this out, I'm trying to keep it to where it's um, tilted this back towards itself. It's going to be tilted just a tad bit so that that pressure when I backfill with, with um, the gravel and soil, that's going to push on the wall. With it being tilted backward and the pressure of the backfill, that makes the wall, boom, firm and strong. 
and it's able to hold weight. If I made it straight up and down and I backfilled, then it would tend to bow out more and then tend to uh, collapse eventually. As I'm clearing this base, um, I used to kind of skip this step. I used to kind of try to skip to the actual progress or what feels like progress on a project and you know not really pay much attention to the base of any type of hardscape project. And uh, that was not a good move. I used to do that. It's so important, so important to have a solid base for your structures. You know, this whole evening I'm spending just trying to cut down this base. We're going to end up with about three inches of base material that's packed down with um, Crusher Run stone. So, you know, it's super important that whatever you do as far as any type of hardscape project, that we really pay attention to the base. Try to build that solid foundation and then the rest the rest is awesome after that, especially for something like a retaining wall. You know, any type of little lip or, or, or dip is going to mean, you know, four, five layers high, all of a sudden the blocks start not really fitting together. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to make sure y'all, if you do any kind of project like this, really make sure the base is right. Same thing for any D DIY, like stack stone around your house or like, or any um, perimeter. If you don't pay attention to the base, it really looks like a DIY project. It starts to look like a project that, you know, doesn't look professional. That's the difference between professional and just normal, is paying attention to the details. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to finish this base here and then hopefully get to um, clear up another area over there. We can't really get a machine back here because all the fences are surrounding it. We could take down the fence, but really on this one, we're just gonna do it all by hand. I'm using this soil to build up the outside because if we get down a little closer, we can see that we have about three inches right here from, from the bottom of my finger up to here is about three inches. And what we're gonna wanna do is fill that in with the pressure on, compact that down, and we'll be able to use this excess soil to fill it up, back fill it up to where that gravel is not exposed. Uh, problem, we have a big old root right here in the middle of where I need to go. See the path's coming through, and then hey, big root, how you doing? Plus, this is a red bud root, and those shoot up little shoots, so I gotta get them out. Oh, and I'm already tired. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Victory. Bye. Victory is mine. Yes. Woo! Overcoming these problems. Meanwhile, Benjamin is watering his plants. Yep. Knocking it out, man.
go. It's done. Looking good, looking good. The reason that we cleaned all this out, pulled the leaves out, pulled the rocks back out is after about 10 years, every landscape really just needs a refresh. You know, those stones have kind of gotten lop lop lopsided usually, and they've you know like sunk down into the soil, like we couldn't even barely see them. Benjamin pulled them out, and now we're even coming through weed eating. I cleaned out the weeds, and I tilted the weed eater so it was really knocking those weeds out, even, even the roots. And now we can even see more of the stones. We're gonna pull those out and then we'll put them back in in a nice orderly, neat fashion, just like we did for the dogwood tree and the crepe myrtle. And just doing that simple pull out, you know, revitalization really just makes the whole landscape just come together a lot better. You'll see whenever we finish this border. But yeah, just cleaning up a landscape really does wonders. Doesn't that look better? Nice and cleaned up. Decided to use this rock on the edge. Might as well. There you have it. Put it on the edge. Still need to put pine straw in there though. What do you think? Should we go ahead and try to do it? Folks, you can see we did the base. All that will be backfill. It's getting kind of dark. Time to go home. I'm kind of tired. Y'all, thanks for watching. It seems like everything out here is loud still though, like the pool and the pump and like all this uh, blower and whew, everything's loud. But yeah, we uh, also finished some work in the front, as you saw. Got some nice beds, border is done. Got some pine straw inside the bed. Now the tree is done. Yes, very good times, very good times. It was a good day, it started out kind of hard, but man, we knocked it out. And y'all, I will see you next time. See you tomorrow. We're gonna be putting in, actually putting in the base tomorrow. So stay tuned for some more hardscaping and I'll share some more info. Today we just had to knock it out and get it done. So, see you tomorrow. You're doing a good job, man. First day on the job. First day. Awesome. Boom. We should be called the B&B &B team or something like that. Benny, Benny and the Ben's. Uh, ben Gardening, Palooza, Extravaganza. Whoa. Time. You just like you've been thinking about that the whole day. Awesome, nice. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll add this to our pile of, of mulch in the backyard. That'll turn into vegetables in the future. All right, we will see them tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Fist bump, everybody. Ready? <laughs>